In order to conduct research on music videos for me to start planning, I had to use the internet to gain some information about possible artists, and I decided on Hello Goodbye, and then used uh, infogr.am to create an infographic about Hello Goodbye, current achievements, uh, sales figures of their albums, etc. Um, and then that allowed me to display my research in, in an aesthetic and visually pleasing way. Uh, I then used timeline.com to create a timeline that displayed the history of music videos right from early days when they were very first started and right the way up to what they're like now and they develop, how they're developed now. Um, then after the research stage when it came to planning my music video I used a program called Caltex to um, create a storyboard uh, with which I could refer to during the construction production stage um, to organise my clips to know what, what I've got to film and when. Uh, for the construction stage I used a Samsung video camera to film the footage well, when we went out um, and then I uploaded it onto an Apple Mac at school and used iMovie to edit the footage and structure it in a way to sync it with the music. Uh, which allowed, and it also allowed me to apply certain effects, like saturation effects, and speeding the clips up when needed to, and slowing them down when needed to. Um, but one problem we had, one massive problem we had, was that the Mac we were using was particularly slow, which made it very difficult to edit stop motion videos because the clip sizes, the clip length, clip lengths were so small. Like we were dealing with like less than a second clips which because the Mac is so slow it was difficult to do because it couldn't handle the, the detail that we needed if it was a different video if it wasn't stop motion then it wouldn't have been so bad but because we were dealing with such fine detail it couldn't cope with it um, so not a hundred percent of the video is accurately synced but it is it's about as good as we'll possibly be able to get it allowing for the fact that the, we had technological problems with the uh, the slow Mac um, and then once I'd finished all of that and finished, finally completed the editing, I exported it using iMovie as an MPEG-4 format, uh, so it can be viewed elsewhere on other computers, etc. And then for the evaluation stage, I've used uh, Prezi uh, to organise evaluations in a text format that can be easily understood and read. And I'm doing these vlog evaluations to explain my evaluations in a more personal way.